across the Atlantic Ocean, the Warburg radio station. The Warburg radio station opened in 1925 and is extremely well preserved. It's not in use now, but the equipment is in operating condition. The Warburg radio station is a monument to the early transatlantic wireless communications. These aerials are 127 metres high. They were the tallest structures to be built in Sweden at the time. Many towering antennas were built. Their job was to multiply radio signals that were strong enough to travel from Sweden to America. After the First World War, many countries sought to connect the world via long-wave radio telegraphic transmission. Before the invention of shortwave signals, a huge amount of signal output was required to transmit signals across continents. Sweden invested considerable resources to build this facility and join the Morse Code International Radio Transmission Network. This machine was used to multiply Morse signals. The signals were transmitted across the Atlantic Ocean to reach family and friends in the United States within seconds. During the 1920s, one in every four Swedish people emigrated to the United States. The radio station stopped transmitting in 1996. It was overtaken by newer technology. But the facility was preserved as a monument. The site is the only remaining example of a major pre-electronic transmitting station. Warburg radio station preserves an original transmission system from the early 20th century. It represents the technological achievements of the period following the First World War. It also preserves the memories, hopes and wishes of the Swedish people. <laughs>